Well, now that I'm successful, I have a million more things to worry about. Before, I was just basically interested in my survival, like what I was going to eat and what I was going to wear when it got cold outside and where I was going to live. But now I have to worry about who's ripping me off and, and is my accountant paying all my bills and is my lawyer making all those deals for me and, um, you know, boring and mundane things like that. <laughs> things I don't want to worry about. And I have to invest my money or I'm going to be taxed or, you know, and I have to find a place and I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to pay everyone. And I have to hire people to make sure that everybody's doing all those things and ugh. Well, the new album is a lot more grown up than the first album. It's a lot more well-rounded um, style-wise. I have two ballads on it and I, I, I've never recorded a ballad before and it's not my first album was termed a dance record you know everything was up tempo dance music but this one is a lot of different kinds of so sounds there's some old stuff that sounds like old motown there's some really high energy you know stuff that maybe sounds more english more techno there's a lot of synthesizers so I just, I think it just shows, it shows my growth as a singer and a songwriter. I chose to work with Nile Rodgers because I think that he's a genius and I wanted to work with a genius on my record. And I think that he embodies a lot of different styles that I think my music embodies. He's very close to the black sound, funk. I mean, the stuff he did with Sheik and Sister Sledge is, and Diana Ross is phenomenal. But he's also made a lot of great pop records with David Bowie and Duran Duran, so and in excess. So I thought he'd be a great person for me to work with, and he's a great musician and arranger. What made you come to New York? I don't know. It's when I was five years old, I just woke up one day and I had this idea that I was going to come to New York. I just had to, and so I graduated. When I, as soon as I graduated from high school, I came here. Well, I graduated I, like early, and I just kind of ran away and came here as soon as I could. When you came here, was there something that you were looking for or something you were trying to achieve? Fame and fortune. <laughs> yeah. When you're a dancer, you can only, you act with your, you perform with your body. And um, I think I had a lot of things to say in other ways besides movement. So that's when I got into the music business. And to me, the film is just the ultimate, you know, that's the embodiment of it all. You can do all that, only it's captured forever on celluloid. The movie I'm working on is called Desperately Seeking Susan. It's directed by Susan Seidelman, who did a movie called Smithereens. And um, I play Susan. And Roseanne Arquette, Aidan Quinn, and Robert Joy are the, um, and Mark Blum are the other lead characters in the movie. And it takes place in New York. It's, all, it's shot all in New York, and a little bits and pieces of it are shot in New Jersey. And um, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a murder mystery comedy romance. It's kind of like old-fashioned screwball mystery, you know, like... Um, the, and the character I play is sort of a combination between Judy Holliday and Carol Lombard, but, you know, from a long time ago. So it's, it's funny and light and... It's been a lot of fun so far, but a lot of hard work. It's a lot different than making records. How do you feel about acting? <laughs> well, acting is just, it's another, it's, it's just another kind of performing. It's, um, it's an expression. It's being honest with your audience, stuff like that. So to me, it's just an extension of what I do already, making videos and performing on stage. Um, do you find acting or singing more challenging? Acting. Singing comes a lot more naturally to me. When you make a movie, um, you really have to rely on your concentration um, because there's people standing all around you with cameras and lights and all sorts of electrical equipment and, and it, it couldn't be further away from um, being like the real thing and you have to ignore everything around you. Everything's shot out of sequence. So you really have to just pretend you're somewhere else and try to concentrate and, you know, and remember wh how you got to where you are right now. Because a lot of times you shoot stuff that's happened in the actual movie 
before you it's you've done the stuff that happens to get you where you are right now does that make any sense <laughs> if uh, for instance you shoot the end of the movie and so you have to work up the emotions for that scene but you haven't even shot all the stuff before that so it's very confusing and it's it's a lot more of a challenge to me also it's new to me so have you learned anything from acting that um, you can apply to your musical career sure yeah um, well the thing that's the thing that that can carry over from um, from acting to to singing is just the performance aspect losing your inhibitions and being really honest with your audience you know just and letting all sorts of emotions come through I don't think that I'm using sex to sell myself I think that I'm a very sexual person and that comes through in my performing and if that's what gets people to buy my records then that's fine but I don't think of it consciously well I'm going to be sexy to get people interested in me it's the way I am it's the way I've always been every once in a while I'll get a reaction from another performer who's a feminist um, a singer and if I do get anything from them I think it's really I think they're just they're they're jealous and envious of me and um, and my reply to them is that that's the choice that I've made I don't you know I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life and you're not going to tell me what to do with mine I enjoy this I'm not you know this is my choice and I'm bringing I th what I, I think I'm bringing happiness to people so it's as simple as that I think that the world sees images I mean you, you build an image for yourself and the world ends up seeing only that aspect of you maybe eventually there a person every person is, has a multi is, is multifaceted and hopefully you know the longer your career goes on the more you can get that out of you but I I couldn't begin to tell you what the world doesn't see in me right now. There's a million things. What I would like to ultimately achieve, I already told Dick Clark once on American Bandstand. So I repeat it again and, um, and annoy everyone who was annoyed before when I said it. I want to conquer the world. <laughs> okay.